we have the newest signing to the world of Eagle FC. This man was a, notably a free agent, but now we have him under the Eagle FC banner following a seven-year run in the UFC. He challenged for a title in 2017, known as the Motown Phenom. When we talk about exciting fighters, this man brings it inside the cage, outside the cage. He's bringing his talents to South Beach, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the newest signing for Eagle FC. I present to you, Kevin Lee. <laughs> Kevin, when it comes to being up here on this stage with the kind of talent, this is MMA royalty that we see. What does it mean for you to be the newest member to this roster? It's amazing. Um, walking into this building feels like a fresh start. Uh, I can feel like a new energy. And to be around a great champion uh, and great champions uh, in the past and try and follow in their footsteps, it's, it's amazing. It's a big, uh, I feel like it's big shoes to fill and I'm here to do that. Now, have you thought about what weight class you're going to dive into? I mean, Habib was talking, said, wants to bring in 65, wants to go to 75. Have you thought about, I think, to my knowledge, you said, in a perfect world earlier in your career, 165, that would be perfect for me. Habib mm -hmm. mentioned that a few minutes ago. Is that where you're going to go ahead and try to focus in on? Yeah, that, that was a big part of this decision. Um, I'm really grateful that... Eagle FC is willing to do a 165 pound division. I think it's uh, gonna benefit a lot of guys and, and I'm, I'm the best one in the world at that weight. Uh, I've said that for a long time and uh, it's a big part of the reason why I'm coming over. I'll be the first 165 pound world champion. There's been world champions at 55, there's been world champions at 70 uh, and I'll be the first one and it, it, it feels nice to make a little piece of history for mixed martial arts. Is it also nice that you have someone like Habib that is been you watched him at the highest level win world titles dominate the world's best that now he's looking after you guys the fighters and making sure that you guys are taken care of yeah i mean that's really one of the biggest reasons why i signed uh with him I, i've seen his, his rise through the ufc i know how hard it is to be a champion and i know how hard it is to to stay a champion um, that's one thing, but then I, I start seeing what he was able to do outside the cage and, and supporting his teammates and, and training other people. And, uh, and now he's getting into promoting, and I, I give him credit for that. I, I, I've said a lot about, about the man in the past, and I wanted to fight him, and I wanted to test myself against him. Um, I only want to do that with people that I respect. And since his retirement and since uh, all this stuff, my, my respect has grown, so I'm happy to go in there and shed some blood. So when can we expect to see you make your Eagle FC debut? I mean, could it be potentially on Friday, January 28th? Have you thought about maybe late winter, early springtime? Uh, I think the, the date is March 11th. Um, that sounds good to me. You know, I, I'm gonna uh, move down here to Miami set up this this is the home of eagle so it'll be my home and uh it'll be a great start to a partnership and we'll start it on march 11th we'll go in there and, and put on a show